So in 1.19.4, they added a new entity called interaction. So if I do slash summon, I can summon this interaction entity. And essentially what I've said in a previous video is that it operates like a hitbox. And so it basically has a bounding box or a hitbox that can have a controllable width and a controllable height. Of course, width is uh, in both directions, so you can only have square bases and you can't rotate the hitbox. Now, this hitbox has some MBT data that allows it to remember who last left-clicked and right-clicked the entity. And so we can use that to do left and right-click detection, although only at a rate of uh, four or five times per second, not as much as an ender eye right-click. So there is still a use for ender eye right-clicks. The other kind of downside of it is that if I am looking at it, I can't interact with anything through it. And so it'll lock my interaction with normal things, uh, like for example, punching another player in PVP. That being said, it obviously has its use cases and I'm gonna show you guys how to work with it with first with command blocks and then with data packs. So the simple way to work with it with command blocks is to just use the new execute on criteria, which have special rules for going to things based on how MBT is set up. And so what this does is we can execute as all of the interaction entities and go on target, which will reference whoever right clicked the interaction entity and then it will say right. And so when I right click these, it says Cloud Wolf right. And that's a really easy way to do it. Not the most efficient way if you have data packs, but if you have command blocks, this is the best way to do it. But it does come with a problem. So let me go ahead and disable these and show you what the problem might be. Hey, we're getting spanned with right. And so to fix that, you need to add these commands at the end, which actually clear the MBT. And so this goes to any interaction and then it removes their MBT of interaction, which is what saves who last clicked on the interaction entity. And now when I click it, it's only one time. Uh, so you basically need these two commands to get right clicking to work and to get left clicking to work, you need two commands as well. So you have execute on attacker, which is your left click. And then you have data remove entity attack, which is the MBT, which holds who last attacked it. And just like that, you have some simple interaction working. Now, obviously keeping relations of who clicked and uh, the original entity that got clicked can get a little bit convoluted in command blocks. And I won't be going over that at the moment, but you can try and solve those issues yourself. We will now be moving into the data packs, which have a lot more flexibility. So the way I recommend you do this in a data pack is to basically use a advancement. And so if I go into interaction and then I go into advancements, you'll see the advancements in this data pack are left click and right click. And this data pack will be included in the description for download so you can kind of just see it. That way I'm not going to type every command out during this video, just keep it very short. Um, but essentially what these do is left click is an advancement that checks when a player hurts an entity if that entity is an interaction entity, and if it is, run the left function. And if the player interacts with uh, an entity and it's an interaction entity, then use the right click function. And that is very simple, really easy to do. It's way more efficient than using the, com well, not way more, but it is more efficient than using the command because it has no selectors and it only checks that criteria once the actual event occurs, which is the benefit of advancements. And so inside left and right, we have a thing that says say right and a thing that says say left. And we'll go over the additional stuff in a minute here. So you can see that when I left click, it says left from CloudWolf. And I, when I right click, it says right from CloudWolf. But let's say that I want to actually do something at the interaction entity or the entity that I interacted with. Well, that becomes a little challenging because when we use this advancement, we basically just come out into this function and we have no context of what I clicked. We just know that I clicked something. And so we can use the on attacker to find it, but it becomes a little bit trickier. And so what we do is we go to all of the interaction entities and run find attacked. And we also give the player a special tag called this and remove it directly after. And so this special tag can always be used to reference the player and just the specific player that right clicked. And so this specific player uh, for each of these entities, what we will do is we will set a scoreboard value to zero and then on the attacker or who last attacked 
every single interaction entity within a radius of six. So this says go to every interaction entity within a radius of six, check who their attacker is. They may not have an attacker, they may have an attacker, but if their attacker is the player who has the tag of this, then it will set the bool test score to one. And I just did that by using results store. I could also do run scoreboard player sets after the if, either one works. But essentially what this does is it, if the player that has the tag of this is the one who attacked that interaction entity within a nearby radius, then it will set the flag to one. And if the flag is set to one for this particular entity's uh, set of commands that it's running, then it will play the particle and it will remove the data. Again, we have to remove the data if we don't want it to uh, remember over multiple ticks that I'm the one who clicked this thing. And so what you'll see is I can left click while standing close to this one and we're all good. It has the right one and I can left click this one and it has the right one. Uh, then this also extends to right click, but you just change the word from on attack to on target. And that's really the only difference. And that is how you use interaction entities. I hope you found that useful. Maybe I showed you something that you hadn't quite solved yet in your head or thought about uh, in terms of the whole finding the interaction entity that you interacted with. And uh, hopefully more people stick to using the advancement method because that is actually more efficient in the long run. Um, but anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.